you are having such an impact on exposing the idea and the fact that the elections are completely fraudulent that now top government officials are coming out and saying that you are attacking the government and attacking the foundations of our country. This is good news today on the Tree of Liberty Society. So typically what the government wants to do is to ignore anything that is working to expose them and shows how fraudulent and illegitimate that they really are. They are illegitimate rulers and they want to ignore that because if, if, they, if they address it, then it actually blows it up and actually makes it so that uh, more people are looking at it. And so when it comes to a point, though, when they have to address it, it's, and they actually say this, is that it's becoming mainstream to expose their fraudulent and illegitimate power. And so just recently, the, uh, the lieutenant governor of the state of Utah, Deidre Henderson, did a, a press conference, damage control press conference, where she does gaslighting, where she admits that it's go- this is going mainstream, and uh, she gives three things that she wants all of us to do to Uh, to prevent uh, voters from understanding and believing even more that the the system is illegitimate. So we're going to get into all of that uh, on today's program. So uh, let's just get right into some of her statements of where you can see that she is scared to death that she is being, well, that the whole system is being exposed. And for those of you that don't know, um, in the state of Utah, a lot lot of other states, they have what's called a uh, secretary of state, and that position is in charge of elections. In the state of Utah, the lieutenant governor is in charge of elections. So the basically kind of like the vice president of the United States uh, the, for the state of Utah, the lieutenant governor is that position. And um, she's in charge of the elections to the, the, the final, like how, how are things being counted? Just making, she's the one that is ultimately responsible for any type of problems uh, with the elections. And so she does not want her whole system to come unraveled. And so she had this emergency press conference where she just just freaks out. And so let's just play the first clip where she says that an attack or exposing them is an attack on the Constitution and the very foundations of our country. Attacks on our elections and the people who run them are attacks on the political institutions that exist An assault on the king's soldiers is the same as an assault on the king himself. So they're saying that if you attack, attack, and we're going to get into what she means by attack, it's it's hilarious. But if if you expose, basically is what it means, if you expose the fraud going on in the elections, then you are attacking the very foundations of the republic. And you are attacking the, uh, the government, just like from that clip from Braveheart. Basically, an attack on the elections is an attack on the king himself. And so what does it mean? What, what does she mean by attack? She actually defines what she means by attack. Watch this. Attacks include generating or spreading rumors, misleading information, and false accusations. So by using the word attack, she's implying that there is violence, that her life is in danger, and that people are trying to you know, either shoot her or hit her with a billy club. She's just under uh, attack. But as you see here, what her definition of attack is, is she's under attack if anybody exposes her illegitimacy, exposes the fraud within the system. And if you go, um, one of our videos that we have directly at the Tree of Liberty Society, because it would be banned on, on YouTube, is where I actually go through and document how all of the ways that elections are run, whether it doesn't matter if it's paper, in person, electronic, mail-in, doesn't matter, completely fraudulent. And that there is a a different way that we actually work to restore freedom and maintain uh, free elections. And so just go check that out at the tree of, at treeoflibertysociety.com. But um, so that video right there that I just mentioned is an attack on government officials because I'm showing how that they are involved in a criminal conspiracy to ensure that your vote is not counted accurately. 
is not counted the way that you actually cast it. That's a supposed attack that has to be, you know, opposed and stopped. And, and, and they are deathly afraid of those attacks because it ruins their credibility, which they must maintain. And so not only do they claim that these are attacks as a way to villainize anybody exposing the reality of what's going on within the system, there's another name that they want to call you, and that is Vigilante. Over the past few years, our election system has been overwhelmed by demands and disruption from individuals who are best described as election vigilantes. who claim to value the Constitution and rule of law while violating both. Until recently, it's been easy to dismiss these efforts as fringe, but I have grave concerns that the volume and intensity of their destructive effort efforts are seeping into the center. Destructive efforts, attack, destructive, vigilante. These are gaslighting terms, these are name calling, to dismiss and so she doesn't have to address the issue that they are of course you know these undermining of the system that they are deathly afraid of because if you do not recognize them as legitimate they lose their power it's, it's as simple as that you recognize that they are illegitimate they lose their power and so they are deathly afraid of anything that would lead to their illegitimacy and calling it are you calling you a vigilante saying that you're attacking them and saying that you know you're a physical threat to them, applying a, implying physical threats uh, against them, and that what is what is happening with the, with these election vigilantes? Now again, what's an election vigilante? It's somebody that exposes them, and that uh, says that hey, you're you know we want proof that the election was legitimate. Look what happened here in Venezuela, where the elections were seen as illegitimate, and to such a degree that. The uh, United States government said, we demand you release the data to show that your election was legitimate. Now, if we do that in the United States, we're election vigilantes. But the U.S. government can do this. It can be an election vigilante against Venezuela. But obviously, they are afraid of being exposed because they are the ones that are damaging and destroying a legitimate, if a once legitimate election system that has now become utterly and totally illegitimate. And now it's becoming because of you and, you know, everyone out there that is helping to expose what's really going on with the elections. It's becoming mainstream because that's that's how it works. It's always um, the the so-called French, as, as, as she says, but it's those that are a little more, more awake, those that are the small part of the population that are looking at the data, looking at the facts of what's really going on. And the fact that they will not stop talking about it. That it becomes mainstream. You look at nullification. Just a, uh, just about eight years ago, that was completely unknown, and now it is one of the most popular ways that is being presented to be able to restore lost liberty. And so, just you look at all the different examples of things that were so-called fringe and become mainstream. It's because we will not remain silent, and we are continuing and over and over again to present the facts of what's really going on. And so that's why it's so important that you share videos like this one or the other, uh, my election presentation, because it makes it become mainstream. We have to make this knowledge become mainstream. And we know that why that's important is because look at her. She's so afraid of it becoming, come, becoming mainstream. And we do that by just continual exposure of these individuals. And what's funny that she actually tells on herself in this conference, in this news conference, because somehow she's psychic. She, she knows exactly what the response is going to be to the election. Watch this. In the coming weeks, you will hear that the vote has somehow been rigged and judges are playing favorites. After the election, you will hear rumors of supposed voting irregularities, which are often easily explained. We can explain it, I promise. We can explain it. <laughs> You're going to see this. I don't know how you know they're going to see this because, you know, oh, it just that they're just you know the other side they're just knee jerk knee jerk reactionaries no matter what happens they're going to say it's a fraud well in, in that same news conference she says if you win you're not going to claim that it's fraud and so she knows that people that are supporting liberty aren't going to win she's telling on herself she knows exactly what's going to happen because she's of course 
in, in charge of and directs um what we'll, we'll call any um county clerk uh an election vigilante if they don't do and count the election exactly how she wants it counted and or performed and, and done and so she knows what the results are going to be right now and so she knows that those that are supporting liberty and exposing the uh, election fraud are are going to be proven correct and uh somehow she just knows it amazing so now she's going to i'm going to show you the first two the these of uh, three steps that she wants us all to do to ensure that um to protect the so-called you know uh, the legitimacy of the establishment if we do those things that these three things that she's asking for is going to maintain their legitimacy which means what do we have to do the opposite of those three things and so the, the first uh, two are doubt your doubts and accept the results no matter what no matter what the results are right can you imagine that right you you have in venezuela where we're saying we don't accept the results because it's obvious fraud and you're not going to you're not showing us the data uh but here in in, in the united states you have to accept the results no matter what watch this today i call on all utahns to step up for the good of our state and country with three specific actions first i ask you to doubt the doubters Questions and concerns are welcome. But if someone is spreading salacious rumors that shake your confidence in our elections, stop and ask yourself what their motivation could be. Do not participate in undermining public trust in our elections by spreading rumors or unfounded accusations. Doubt the doubters before you doubt the entire election system. Second, Commit today to accept the results of the election, no matter what they are. No matter what they are, accept it. Doubt those that don't, you know, anybody that's undermining the election system, anybody that treats it as anything but completely legitimate, ignore them. Doubt them. Doubt anybody that says, here's the data that shows the facts that the elections are completely illegitimate. Do not question the legitimacy of the system and accept whatever the establishment tells you the results are. Do not do what the United States government is doing in Venezuela. Do not do that, is what the Lieutenant Governor of the state of Utah is saying. And so you can see in the background, I, we have the images of the Council on Foreign Relations and Skull and Bones, because at the University of Utah is one of the chapters of Skull and Bones, and the uh, Hinckley Institute of Politics is an official uh, accepted organization of the Council on Foreign Relations uh, of Salt Lake City. And so just showing, just giving some background on why those images are, are there because it shows the establishment is behind what the Lieutenant Governor of Utah is saying. So they, they do not, and so what we, that's one of the things we need to do is make sure that we are magnifying the voices of those that are showing the illegitimacy of the elections and two, do not accept the outcome because the outcome is illegitimate. The elections are illegitimate, which means the outcome is illegitimate, which is why she is so hard on making sure that you do not allow those, you know, you do not allow those that are exposing this to be heard. So we need to magnify that voice. And she is so adamant about in just accepting the elections no matter what, because those two things are so tightly uh, put together. And then the third thing is, is just gaslighting. And third, take your vote into your own hands. You are ultimately responsible for your own ballot. So if there's fraud, you know, it's, it's your fault. You, you have to take responsibility for your vote. And so, again, participation in the fraud is, is essential for the continuing of the fraud. So that you're responsible for it, even though there is no way to actually, once you've dropped off your ballot, put it in the mail, put it in a drop box, there's no way to verify how your vote was counted. And they have this pretend system, as I talk about in my other video, exposing the election system, um, of, of you being able to track your vote. It just tells you if your vote was counted. Like, well, yep, we received your vote. What, what was it? How did we count it? You can't know that. That's election, your election vigilante if you want to know how your vote was counted. And so they just, this, this double speak to get you to just accept the results no matter what shows that the results should not be accepted no matter what. And then this is very typical of a government official, of an individual, you know, if somebody, if, if you complain about what the government is doing, what do they always tell you to do? 
run for office. If you don't like the way we're doing things, run for office. So if you want to do what the United States government is doing with Venezuela and say, we want to know exactly the data that shows that this election was legitimate, if we ask for that, this is her response. Besides being an election vigilante, of course. You know, the idea of these election vigilantes that want to go in and personally inspect every single ballot, personally count all the votes. If you want to verify signatures, if you want to count ballots, then, you know, run for county clerk. Run for county clerk. If you don't like the way things are done, run for office. If you want to look at how the elections run, run for office. Well, if the elections are fraudulent and I run for office and I want to actually count the votes and know how they're counted, uh, how am I going to get elected to that office, first of all? And it's just ridiculous. They're not saying, you know, can you imagine the United States says to Venezuela, hey, give us the data to prove that your election's legitimate. And then Venezuela says, well, if you want to know if our election's uh, legitimate, you need to run for office. You know, get elected, basically, is what she's saying. If you want to know if we're legitimate or not, get elected. How can you get elected if it's illegitimate? Now, who's her, bo you know, who's her running mate? The governor of Utah. Look what he says about being a part of a conspiracy. I, pr I promise I'm not part of some grand conspiracy theory. Uh, I, if, you, if you don't believe me, um, if, if, you're, if you're a Catholic, listen to the Pope. I, pr I promise. These guys are over the top. We're not part of a conspiracy. Trust us. Trust everything. Do not, do not question anything. Do not, uh, do not do anything but accept us as legitimate. So that tells us that we need to, A, stop seeing them as legitimate. We need to stop treating them as legitimate because they clearly are illegitimate. They should not be listened to. They should not be obeyed. Everything that we do should be in, in our actions is treating them as illegitimate, meaning we nullify the unconstitutional, illegal acts of state, local, and federal officials. We stop treating them as legitimate. That is what they are afraid of, which means that is what we must do. And we must continue to expose uh, their illegitimacy by sharing videos like this one, sharing my presentation on election fraud, uh, checking it out, and making sure that you're well uh, versed in the principles that we're, we're discussing here, that they are so afraid uh, of getting out there, that every single part of it, that is, it is a distraction to say that, oh, we're going to go do, um, we've got to do in-person voting, or we need mandatory ID for voting. All of these things, you're, if you have a mandatory ID for voting, does that change the fact that, uh, that, that ballots are being stuffed, that the election machines are miscounting votes, that uh, votes are being thrown away, and that judges are supporting this? No, ID doesn't change that. And so these are all distractions from the fundamental issue that the entire system is rigged and that it needs to be treated as such, that it is illegitimate, and those in power are illegitimate, and they need to be treated as such. Become a part of the solution. Join with us at the Tree of Liberty Society. Become a member today. Be part of our community. We have weekly trainings where we get together from all over the world, people from Japan, Canada, all over the United States, uh, England, people coming all together and being able to, to live, be able to come together and discuss more in detail these types of things, ask questions, bring up other issues that are going on and be able to have an action program. That's what we do on the Tree of Liberty Society and our members, we get together, we have uh, documents, we have uh, research materials, we have action items that we all work on. Please come join with us to become a, a, a part of the solution to be able to restore lost liberty and to expose the enemies of freedom by being a member of the Tree of Liberty Society.